is going on YouTube? Dylan aka Ducks here bringing you episode, I don't know, I've lost track, of the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. If you're enjoying the series, leave me a like down below. Answer the question of the day. Have you ever caught a legit shiny Pokemon? I want to know because a lot of people just gin for their shinies or get them on Wonder Trade. Have you ever caught one on your own? I want to give a shout out to a viewer named Chief of the Sea. I saw you caught that shiny Alolan Rattata and that is sick. Congratulations, my man. We are going to get on with this episode because I've got a uh, an island trial to face here against, I believe, Olivia. We still got Dartrix, uh, Char... Is it Chargebug? Yeah. Dartrix, Chargebug. Oh, what's your name? Salandit. Wishy-Washy. Alolan, Raticate, and Mudbray. On the team with all their various nicknames, Rowlet, Sparks, Liability, Pablo, Dirty Sanchez, and Denver. We're going to leave their items alone and we're going to go ahead and see what lies ahead. This is a creepy looking, creepy looking cave. What could be in there? Oh man, uh, names, uh, voices. Ducks! Lily got lost again so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now I've gotta go, the Master Royal has a match, and there's no way I'm missing it. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's got a crush on the Master Royal, aka Kukui. The the Master Royal. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? Hmm, I wonder what does he look like? I came here for Nebby, though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I brought. I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Dartrix. Won't you let me heal it for you? Won't you? Yes, I will, because I like a healthy Pokemon. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Does that mean we get to battle Tapu Lele? You, I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the guardians mean to you? Tell us your secrets, Nebby. Just think what would have happened to you if ducks hadn't been back there. Then, uh, uh, did I read that right? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? She got that walk. Oh yes. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, my name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant, and this is Ducks. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Ducks, thanks for getting to know the people in Pokemon of Alola. Why, you're welcome, ma'am. Oh, I can't help but think that this lighting makes me look ginger. Kind of does a little bit. It's okay, though. Being ginger is not a bad thing. Alright then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. What's up with my phone right now? I keep looking over at it because it keeps making weird noises. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. Um... I'm gonna hit save, just to be safe. You never know. Fine, I don't want to win just because you weren't prepared well enough. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna hit save these. We gonna hit the save these, my brother, my sister. All right, and we got we're up against the rock type. Ooh, rock type. Ah, man, I'm gonna have to back out of this again because uh, Dartrix is flying type, and it's gonna get bodied by rock types. Uh, let's be safe here. I'm thinking Wishy Washy is a safe bet. It's bulky and it is a water type. We definitely don't want to be risk risking our Rowlet, aka Dartrix. I just named it Rowlet because I'm not clever enough to come up with a cool nickname. All right, so blah blah blah. You've said this to us three times. Let's go for it. Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we got, and my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Bring it, bring it, Olivia. Ooh, look at that walk. Look at that pose. She's so fierce. Nose pass is coming out. What up, my bro? Go, Pablo. All right, let me adjust myself. Got to get in battle mode here. 
Pablo's schooling's going off most obviously. And we gonna get bulky. Guess what we gonna do to you, home slice? We're gonna hit you with that super effective scald. Probably would have been wise of me to set up an aqua ring so I can get some healing going too, but you know, whatever. Scald's going off. Not even gonna do that much, surprisingly. I am gonna go ahead and set up the aqua ring just to be safe, and then I'm gonna check my phone because it's being a freak. Aqua ring goes off, and we're gonna surround ourselves with water. I think it would be safe of me to go ahead and... You know what, we're gonna ignore the paralysis because he'll just hit us with it again after we hit him with this scald. Fine by me. Spark! You get spark! That makes sense. Just kidding, it doesn't. Aqua ring's gonna heal us up a teensy bit. Just a teensy weensy bit. After it's all said and done, it might save us at least from one hit. Super effective! And I just realized how much, how hard this music's going right now. It's like, it's like got the got the synthesizers going, the arpeggiators. Fun fact: Dylan used to play in multiple bands, and Dylan used to play synthesizers and keyboards in multiple bands. Good old good days. Boldor's coming in. We're gonna keep battling because I ain't scared of no Boldor. I ain't afraid of no Boldor. I, 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 I ain't afraid of no Boldor. Let's go and hit this bad boy with a scald, and I'm gonna peek over at the TV because uh, Cowboys Giants are playing right now, and I'm interested. I'm just super distracted this episode, if you couldn't tell. Checking my phone, checking my TV, it's like I don't even want to be here. Just kidding, I absolutely do want to be here. I just, you know, I choose the worst times to uh, go ahead and record. Oh man, I should have hit the brine because we're below half. Oh, please don't let us go back away from our schooling form. Of course, Bulldor has sturdy. We're gonna heal up and then we're gonna keep our schooling form, right? Yes, we are. All right. Just to be safe here, I am gonna go ahead and use a max potion on our Pablo the Wishy Washy. So I don't lose the schooling form, so I can continue to body Miss Olivia here. What you got for me? Like a headbutt or something? I missed, I missed out whatever that move was. Man, this music is it's too hard, man. It's going so hard. Just to be just to be cheeky, I'm gonna go for faint attack. Just to be cheeky. I just feel like it'd be fun to not waste any more water moves, even though we're not gonna have that problem at all. Faint attack goes off. <laughs> Funny how long it takes it to take one HP off the board there. Pablo's gaining a level. What up, dude? Level 26. Awesome. And liability is gonna grow to level 23. I wish it was a female Salandit. Man, I love Salazzle. Salazzle's cool. Lycanroc wants to come in. What up? Lycanroc Midnight form. How would you like to eat a Scald? I don't think you would. I hope we live this. I hope we live this. I'm kind of scared that we're not going to live this. Please. Please. Live it, live it, live it, live it, live it. <gasps> Pablo, you boss! Live it on 3 HP! Oh, my boy! Let's go! Oh, my goodness. Pablo, you are a monster! Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. That is so awesome. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's gaining levels and oh my gosh, we want to learn high horsepower. Of course we do It is a super powerful ground type move. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we gonna get rid of You know what we don't need We don't need a special type move we don't need a mud slap we getting rid of mud slap and we gonna learn high horsepower we beat the Kahuna. How lovely. Mm-hmm. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed into its absolute limit. 
You guys are the best. Here, the Rock Type Z Crystal. The Rock EMZ is all yours. This one's for Pablo for being an absolute monster and living on 3 HP from a rock type Z move from a lichen rock midday form. What a mouthful that sentence was. I'm gonna go ahead and try plugging my phone back in because it's been acting wacky on the charger. It's broken, guys. This is what it looks like. It's all taped up on the end. I don't like it. it sucks. It sucks a lot. You obtained Rock EMZ. And we put it in our pocket. Put it in the pocket. Pock, lock, and drop it. That, I, I didn't say the right words. Pop, lock, and drop it's what I was looking for. The Rock Type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dance was all, almost... It was almost the same thing. <sighs> Use it well. The Rock Type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. You look very pleased. Oh wait, wrong voice. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question. Oh, it man, I'm so bad at voices. By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why have you come to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the runes for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe... Maybe I'll find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the gu guardians at all costs. Unless they're strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Lovely. Whoa! You're Kahuna Olivia! I'm Hal from Iki Town. You've got to let me battle you. Oh, hey, ducks. Guess what? That weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Gram Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Ooh, honey. The Aether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, ducks, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Gram Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab, honey. The the, the Aether Foundation? Uh, um, I think I'll stay here. I'd, 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 I'd like to see how Hal's battle goes too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt, but I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. I may not be as strong as my grabs, Hala, but I can still raise up Brion and the rest of my team to do their best. You're, you're just Hal, right? And what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hal can do. That's his face. Alright, so it looks like we're on our way to the Hano Grand Resort. Wherever that may be. Um, yeah, I think I already got my encounter for this area last episode, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to watch this- wait. Wait, 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 wait. Akala Outskirts. And Memorial Hill. Are those two different areas? What's in this grass? Alright, well never mind, there is nothing good there, it's just the same stuff that we got before, and I missed the area before, so... We're just not gonna... We're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen. We're gonna pretend like that encounter is not even a thing, because it wasn't a thing. A ghastly! Here to remind us of the one that we killed the last episode. Lovely. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Run away, how about that? Oh, can't get away. And you're placing a curse on us. Alright. 
Now we get away safely. Lovely, fair enough. I just want to get onto the next town, TBH. We got ourselves a spell tag, which is nice. You know what? I think I am going to go ahead and hit up that Poke Ride. Let's try it. I, I haven't used it that much. I don't even know where we're going, to be honest, either. I really don't know where we're going. Um... Oh, we're going to go to the Hano Grand Resort. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly back over here to Royal Avenue. Look at this beautiful animation. Just riding on a Charizard like it ain't no thing. Lovely. Alright, so we're gonna heal up and go find out what this uh, hollow? Is it hollow or Hana Grand Resort is? I don't remember. I don't remember how to say things in this game. They're all weird. I, I don't want to say weird because that makes it sound like I think like, oh, you have culture, you're weird. They're just all different words that I've not ever heard before. Because they're based on Hawaiian language. Oh, we gonna run around you because I don't want to battle you. I'll tell you that much. We're just gonna cut on over here. Over here. Uh, you know what's bad, guys? I I don't really remember which encounters I've gotten for where, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it from now on. Welcome to Hano Grand Resort. This place is this place is so wanky. Look how so wanky. I'm gonna do the swanky leg. It's like a rich person trying to do the stanky leg. They do the swanky leg. Do the swanky leg. Do the swanky leg. Do the swanky leg. Yeah. A while up. Do the swanky leg. You've come at last. Ah, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Foundation Paradise. <laughs> Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. <laughs> Just as the name suggests. <laughs> Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out of the sea surrounding Alola. <laughs> it's an artificial island made entirely by human technology <laughs> for the protection of Pokemon. I, of course, am an adult who keeps his promises, <laughs> so I prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with the tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good. Then you come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any, I've just never even gotten married, you know? I gotta stay single, baby. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Thanks, are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aeth is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right, I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Molly Garden. Yup, it's goodbye, Call Island. Though, I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? <laughs> then let's enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. <laughs> Lovely. I don't know if the cowboys won or not. I missed it. I bet they did, though. Look at these speedboats. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Docs? Really? <laughs> Knew I couldn't count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Look at me, just being a cute little boy, just being just cute, cute little boy, just being like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna roll with you, homie. Ooh, we're making our way over to the metal island in the sea, known as Aether Paradise. Ladies and gentlemen, it shall be a good time. 
Oh, man. It's been a long weekend. My mom came to visit, and I got like a uh, I got a 40 inch TV for my for my Christmas present from her, and some other fun stuff. So it was a good time. Had some drinks, went to the Hibachi Grill, and uh, you know, chilled. Had some steak and lobster, and probably a few too many drinks, which uh, you know, that happens sometimes, but. Mm-hmm. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> Aether. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. <laughs> Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake- Ah, I wish I would have brought a glass of water. All for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though, you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Oh uh, yeah, that voice, it's just all throat, it's all Meh. So just, it's killing me. I'm gonna drink a big fat glass of water after this. Oh, who that? Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes. Yes, Mr. Branch Manager Faba. No, I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on a collar, show these children around, and then take them to meet the president as well. <laughs> so you He's gonna go bye bye. Phew Why hello there, welcome to Aether Paradise, Ducks and How. My name is Wick. Uh Lola! Hey, you don't know? You know who we are? How'd you know that? Oh, one of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. How. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. I guess we're getting on this crazy elevator with this crazy lady. She doesn't really look crazy, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm... You know what I'm Shall we zip up there? Yes, we shall. Oh, man. I think the Cowboys won. They're showing a lot of Cowboys clips on the TV right now. And it's looking like they pulled it out. They're showing a bunch of upset Giants clips. Now a bunch of happy Giants clips. I don't know. I just want to know who won the game. I don't know. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Puppy and the Pikachu. <laughs> so cute. Docs, you and Howard are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. I'm starting to give her a Boston accent. How'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the island challenge once I turned 11. Cause someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all I suppose all children must yearn to take a great journey of their own choosing when they get about your age. Though you're probably just children anymore. You're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Ducks, how? Would you like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll slip right up. Uh, yeah, actually that'd be pretty so weird. Oh uh, yeah, it's another one of those episodes, guys, where I'm just kind of tired and like, meh. I think you guys can tell, sometimes I just come out swinging and I'm like, boom, 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 boom. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden in the conservation area. Wow! We keep Pokemon here that have been targeted by Team Skull, and we also try and support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They're quite terribly owned or overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. <clears throat> the Pokédex states, Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor and... 
Let's start that over. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of coarse lipids scattered in its wake. Whoa, yeah, my Grumps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try and affect it, can it? <laughs> That's pretty amazing! The Aether Foundation seems awesome, but why even bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? <laughs> I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area right now. Actually, that would be quite dope indeed. The question is, do I want to continue on with the episode at this point? I guess I probably should. We got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time, I ain't doing nothing. Oh, here comes the yard. Ah. Just need to stop it with that boo boo. That foo foo boo boo. What's over here? Nothing. We're gonna go turn around and go this way. I wonder what that young prez is about. What's that young prez about? Oh, there she is. Oh, voices, voices, voices. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. Um. Oh, look at them heels, girl. Look at you, girl. You must be ducks now. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation only own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please just call me Luzamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons, or even for profit. And that's why I am here. I will be like a mother to those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far away from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Luzamine, I don't know how you even do all this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Uh, wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. L like, what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. True, y'all have similar styles. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children will all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. What's going on here? That trimmer, did something happen on the lower floors? Oh, that face! That mouth open face! Whoa! Ultra Beasts! Finally! <laughs> I love the face! He's just like. That's what my guy looked like. Um, do we battle it? Or do we just talk to it? Or. Oh, I guess this gives me time to yawn. Did you come from another world? This loser means stand back, that thing's not right! <laughs> you poor creature. Yo, uh, it's lit. I think I'm gonna save here though, and we'll find out next episode what happens. If you guys did enjoy, leave me a thumbs up down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all the fun YouTube stuff, answer the question of the day, show me to your friends, tell your grandma about me, I'm sure she would love me. My name's Dylan, I'll see you in the next episode to find out what happens. Stay lame.